You might know actress Corrine Calvert from her roles in old movies. She became famous in Hollywood during the middle of the 20th century with her captivating presence on screen. Maybe you have a special memory linked to her performances. Share your stories and memories below. Stay tuned for interesting, surprising, and sad facts in this video. French actress Corrine Calvert appeared in several notable films throughout her career. One of her most recognized works is To the Victor, a war drama where she starred alongside actors like Clark Gable and George Sanders. Another standout performance came in Rope of Sand, an adventure film featuring Burt Lancaster and Paul Henraid. For fans eager to explore her filmography further, some must-watch movies include What Price Glory, a war drama showcasing her talent alongside James Cagney and Dan Daly. Additionally, The Far Country offers a gripping western tale starring James Stewart, where she delivers a memorable performance as Renee Vallon. Starting with To the Victor can provide a glimpse into her early career and acting prowess. Following up with What Price Glory offers a deeper dive into her versatility as an actress, while The Far Country showcases her ability to shine in diverse genres, exploring Calvert's filmography promises an enriching cinematic experience filled with memorable performances and captivating storytelling. In the entertainment world, Corrine Calvert had a stormy relationship with actor Rory Calhoun. In her autobiography, she mentioned a short romance with him that went sour when she found out about his relationship with another man. Their association got worse over time, leading to a shocking incident where he reportedly aimed a gun at her. After her time in entertainment, she switched careers in the 1970s and became a therapist. Once, she met Clark Gable at a dinner. She was surprised when he mostly talked about hunting and killing animals. Feeling disgusted, she promptly left the table. Throughout her life journey, she faced personal challenges and made career changes, showing resilience and adaptability along the way. Corrine Calvert's parents, Pierre Debos and Juliette Munier Debos, were chemists who played a crucial role in creating Cibber, also known as Pyrex. Despite growing up in a scientific household, Calvert chose a different path and entered the entertainment industry. In 1952, she took legal action against Zanza Gabor for slander, as Gabor had falsely claimed she wasn't truly French. This incident showed Calvert's determination and brought attention to her background and identity. In one of her notable roles, she portrayed herself in Sailor Beware, skillfully rebuffing advances from sailors in a nightclub. The scene takes an interesting turn when the club's manager recalls her past admiration for a former crooner who sang Moonlight Becomes You and suggests Dean Martin's similar style as a replacement. Martin, early in his career, intentionally imitated Bing Crosby's singing style, which adds depth to the story's dynamics. The interaction between characters in this scene highlights not only Calvert's on-screen charisma, but also her influence on the storyline. It demonstrates her versatility as an actress and her ability to blend into the movie's narrative seamlessly. Through her portrayal, she brings authenticity and depth to the character, enhancing the audience's viewing experience. In summary, Calvert's journey is marked by personal and professional milestones, showcasing her resilience, talent, and determination in the entertainment industry. From her parents' scientific background to her legal battles and memorable film roles, her story continues to captivate audiences, emphasizing the power of storytelling in cinema. Corrine Calvert, known for her roles in Hollywood movies, lived a varied life. She adopted a son named Michael, and they were very close. Before she became successful in Hollywood, she went to a film school in France to get better at acting, which she loved. After that, she settled in Santa Monica, California because she liked its peaceful coastal atmosphere. Even though she was famous, she valued her privacy and preferred a quiet life away from the constant attention. Her journey shows how dedicated she was to her acting and her family, and it had a strong effect on those around her. Calvert's story is one of strength and passion, showing how important it is to chase your dreams and take care of the people you love. She continues to inspire actors starting out and parents who care deeply about their families. Her life is a reminder of how rich and fulfilling life can be when you follow your passions and nurture relationships. Actress Corrine Calvert began her career in France after World War II, diving into radio and stage work. She quickly impressed audiences with her talent and charm. Later, she moved to American TV, where she showed her skills in various roles. She also enjoyed being a mom while acting. One of her notable roles was on Lux Video Theater, where she acted alongside Martin Milner. 
She was praised for her authentic performances that drew viewers in. Overall, she made a big impact in entertainment and is remembered for her talent and dedication. This was Paramount Pictures discovered her and brought her to the U.S. where she got into Hollywood. She got noticed during the making of Jerry Lewis' movie The Bellboy in Miami Beach FL, but she wasn't happy with something and left the movie quickly. So they had to remove all scenes with her. After that, she acted in more American movies, often playing French characters. She worked a lot with Paramount Pictures, which helped make her well-known in the film world. Kareen Calvert's work shows how talented she was and how much she influenced American movies as Kareen Calvert, a French actress, started her journey by painting at Monsieur Canard's studio. Later, she focused on acting, learning at Charles Dullin's school alongside famous actors like Jean Marais, Simone Signoret, and Gerard Philip. She also became friends with Martine Carroll during her time there. She married actor and writer Jeffrey Stone and became a mother to her son, Robin. Her life shows her strong commitment to both her art and her family. From her early days as an artist to her success in movies, her story inspires because she never gave up. Corrine Calvert's name is remembered for her creativity and strength, inspiring many. Her story reminds us of the importance of following our passions while caring for our loved ones. Through her work and relationships, she made a big impact on the world. This story, filled with talent, love, and determination, honors a woman who lived life to the fullest. Corrine Calvert was well known in Hollywood. She shared a fascinating story in her autobiography about meeting Orson Welles. He approached her because she looked a lot like Rita Hayworth, whom he used to date. But when she refused to copy Hayworth, he lost interest. Calvert had three sisters named Christine, Colette, and Chantel, and a brother named Hughes. In 1967, her ex-husband, Donald Scott, sued her to get back money he hid in her name during their divorce. This showed how relationships in Hollywood can get messy. It reminds us that behind the glitz of Hollywood, there are complicated problems. This story shows how tough it can be for people in show business. In the far country, Renee Vallon, portrayed by Kareem Calvert, maintains a striking presence with her signature accessory, an ever-present hat that becomes emblematic of her character's enigmatic allure. Throughout the movie, she effortlessly exudes a mysterious and sophisticated vibe, drawing viewers into the complex story. The character of Valen shows a subtle defiance, perhaps shaped by her background studying criminal law at the Sorbonne. This adds depth to her persona, suggesting a deeper understanding and resourcefulness. Calvert's own experiences, both on and off the screen, add weight to Valen's determination. There are stories of her encounters with powerful figures in the film industry, highlighting her resilience. In the world of the movie, Valen's hat symbolizes her independence and refusal to conform. It reminds viewers of her agency and control over her destiny. As the story progresses, Valen's hat becomes linked with her mysterious charm, emphasizing her allure and leaving a lasting impression on the audience. Overall, the far country showcases Calvert's talent and the hat serves as a symbol of strength and defiance. And as the credits roll, one thing is certain Renee Valen's hat will always be remembered in cinematic history.